It is currently noon on a Tuesday, and just a couple of hours ago, Lucio has been added to the Heroes of the Storm PTR. Now, I am a little bit worried that, considering the time, and considering he's literally just been added, the queue times are going to take forever. But in this video, I want to try and explain exactly what Lucio is all about, and then hopefully show you some reasonable gameplay as well. Alright, so first off, for those of you disappointed, Lucio indeed is not a Warcraft assassin, I know, right? But he's of course a support from the Overwatch universe. We can do some beautiful dancing, which looks the exact same as the Overwatch version of Lucio. But one of the cool things about this character is that if you have played Overwatch whatsoever, you'll be able to pick him up rather easily as well. It's sort of similar to, for example, like Tracer and Zarya. I've played him a few games right now, I've played him two games so far and obviously uh, tested him out in the store for a while too. He plays very, very similar to uh, similarly to those characters as well. Now one of the things you may have already noticed is that I don't actually have a mount. Instead, I of course got my crossfade ability and I can also wall run for some additional movement speed. We'll cover the abilities in just a little bit. Uh, for now, I'll go ahead and pick up... Uh, we move together. I don't really know exactly what talents are going to be superior. I'm sure someone will figure that out over the course of the next couple of days. But anyways, so as far as my movement goes, I, I really have to use my talents uh, quite efficiently. There's a lot of talents that are focused on this wall running. You can see it, it does quite well, but it, it seems a little bit buggy at times. Not entirely sure if that is actually going to be the case, but regardless. Um, I've got my crossfade ability, and that is probably my most important ability. So my W focuses on this crossfade thing. I can basically activate it whenever I would like to, and switch between like a healing buff around me, or a movement speed buff. And this applies to all of my allies as well. So what I can do is just simply hit like W right now, and everyone around me gets some additional movement speed. And if I hit W again with like the yellow circle around me, everyone will gain some additional healing. Very, very nice. Ooh, a little bit of an awkward move there. Gonna have to try and nuke down their Murky. Looks like we managed to get it. Murky, by the way, did get a rework. Everyone's playing Murky right now. Um, then, as far as my E ability goes, I got Amp It Up, which, like, significantly increases uh, either of the buffs. So I can uh, get some additional healing that way, or I can get some additional movement speed. So for the most part, in battles, you will see me use the, you know, the healing here mostly, just because it seems most helpful. But, of course, if I'm trying to make my way to map objectives, like, in particular, on a map like this, you know, where there's gonna be a ton of, uh, a ton of, like, you know, fights, in particular, on the objective in just a bit, I'm definitely gonna mostly use the... You know, the other ability right there. Now, sadly, a lot of my allies are dying, but it looks like it's mostly on Murky, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm not entirely sure how Murky works, by the way, right now. I'm gonna have to give her a try, because she seems awfully powerful. Like, I've had Murky stopping the game or the in-game damage here for a while. Um, one of the things as well that is really important to keep in mind is that I can actually move and shoot at the same time. So, I'm sort of like a, a Protoss Phoenix in that way. I can move and shoot at the same time. Uh, so that means that as long as you are, you know, hitting something, you're pretty much doing it right. Now, sadly, it's a ton of pushing here. Once again, trying to keep my ETC alive, but with that gank there from Valera, things may be a little tricky. And I'll pick up uh, Chase the base here at level 4. So, since the next objective is going to be over here, I probably can do a little bit more XP gathering. I think that would be helpful. There we go. Um, as far as my Q ability goes, you can see the circle is really small. It's basically the sound blast thingy, uh, the thing that you also have in, uh, in... Oh, man. Well, guys, I'm just trying to buy time. I'm gonna need some teammates here to try and help me out. There we go. Ooh. Put down... Put down the... Put down the zombie wall! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they already have it, don't they? Oh, no, nice, 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 nice. Beautiful. But sadly, a lot of my teammates are indeed moving around and dying and, you know, having issues here. I'm starting to get a little worried oh, for this objective. Oof. Trying my very best to keep everyone alive. Trying to be my very best here to keep Toby alive here. Whew. Slowly, he manages to get out of there. But they did manage to get the first objective. Anyway, so the W or the Q ability, rather, is like the alternate basic attack. Like you have it in Overwatch as well. It's like this little pushback uh, mechanic. Sadly, you can't push anyone out of the map in this particular game. But there are definitely a lot of moves for it as well where it can be very beneficial. Uh, for example, you can uh, you can use it to do some damage to people. And you can try and skate past someone and like push them into your objective. Which is very helpful as well. Well, we'll try and do some damage here, I guess. So you can see, like, that pushback is, is just simply one of the main things you have. And you can use it very often. Uh, mana cost is very low. So there, for example, though, you can see, like, that actually did quite a lot. And I'm going to activate my move or my, my boosted up now uh, to try and get towards, uh, you know, safety there. So very nice. Very, very nice little early game here. Um, while we are 
not having the objective advantages just yet. I'm gonna try and see if I can do some additional damage here in the central part of the map. Ooh, actually, I'm in a lot of trouble. Trying to skate out of there. Woohoo! And it looks like Amp It Up has saved the day once again. So I'll go ahead and pick up the Boombox. Now, Boombox is one of the coolest level 7 abilities. Um, I keep on not using it nearly as often as I probably should. Uh, but the Boombox basically allows me to throw this little box on the ground, which will mirror once again the crossfade that I've got set up, as well as my Amp It Up. So it's basically like some additional healing and some additional damage output that you can do every 20 seconds. Like, the cooldown on it is very low. Alright. So right there, I put the Boombox on the ground. We can gain some additional help that way. Now, this is once again a bit of an awkward fight. Because I feel like these zombies are hurting us quite a lot. And sadly, two of my allies do indeed end up being in a really rough position. I think I'm actually going to have to try and get out of there. Try and get out of there, Loco. Use the wall run. And you can see the wall run is super nice as it really allows me to move out much quicker than you normally can. That was awesome, actually. You can really see the potential, right? And I, I like it because it's sort of like a new concept in the game. We haven't really seen something like this all too much yet in Overwatch. Sure, there's a little bit of, like, war action. And while it's it sometimes seems a little bit on the buggy end... Don't want to be hit by the Gilnean cocktail. While it sometimes seems a little bit more on the buggy end... Oh... It is a very cool ability. Now, the level 4 talent that I picked allows me to get additional... Additional width, I suppose, on my W a bit, or on my Q ability, whenever uh, I hit an enemy, or I hit 20 enemies with it, which is definitely doable. So right there, for example, I get another charge off. Once again, the boombox, very nice. Sadly, I am going to have to try and make my way towards the bottom of the map now, and this is where, like, not having a mount kind of sucks. So I can indeed use my amp it up to try and get some additional movement speed, and I'm trying to skate as fast as I can, but it's, you know, it's still pretty tricky. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Healing time. Yeah, these movements are really tricky. <laughs> I can't do a whole lot when I'm in that scenario, right? Try my very best. Like, if people walk outside of the circle or are just not in the circle to begin with, there's very little I can do. We need to get out of there, boys. They're level 10. Get on out of there, boys. They're level 10. And I guess it's time for us to start defending here, because so far, this is looking not that amazing. But it's alright, it's Heroes of the Storm, right? There's always room for comebacks. We need to make sure that we fight as five. There's no point in taking these loose engagements, I suppose. Now, we are very shortly gonna unlock our ultimates. And I gotta be honest, the ultimates are really cool. Like, the ultimates are really cool abilities, both of them. Um, I've mostly used the, uh, the first one so far, which is basically like the Overwatch equivalent, but in the store, I tried out the second one too, which seems awfully powerful. <laughs> there's so much dying here. We've got, they've got nine kills so far. I mean, uh, there's not, I mean, I, I'm the healer here, right? I'm the one that keeps everyone alive. I'm not really one that, that, you know, tries and, and, oh man. Oh man, I used my ulti there, by the way. Get him. Certainly didn't just get him. But it's so cool though, like this hero is really fun to play. It's just gonna take a lot of time. Now, I've got sort of like similar things to, for example, uh, like Brightwing, right? Brightwing is one of my favorite heroes in the game, even though she's, you know, she's never been like the most powerful healer ever. Um, she's a lot of fun to play and really cool and fun because, like, as long as you stay alive, and right, my, right now, by the way, you can see my level 4 talent starting to kick in. I got way more width on my, on my Q ability. Uh, but as long as I'm alive, right, and, like, enemies, or allies, rather, are close to me, it makes the game so much more fun if you do so much healing. So right now, if we walk together, and as long as I'm alive, we're gonna be able to do so, so much healing. And that's nice. Like, I really like that. I really like that concept. I can actually just put down my boombox, because it's 20 seconds cooldown here anyway. Uh, the amp it up is 15, so it's almost similar. Um, you can almost use them, at the, uh, use them at the same time, and, of course, it doesn't cost any mana. Anyway, there's a lot of additional skills and strategies that you can use, and like, while I'm definitely not using Wall Run as efficiently as I probably can, it's still really good. Alright, drop the beat, keeping everyone alive. He's got the other ulti, by the way. Uh, the other Lucio. Oh, I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. And while I will be able to get out, my ally, 
<laughs> my allies are dying and dropping like flies. <laughs> At the very least, though, even though this game may be a little bit tricky as far as like a winning concept goes, I hope this does give you like a short introduction on what Lucio is all about, because... Oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Get out of there, Loco. Get out of there. And sadly, I also do end up falling, but it's it's a lot of fun. Like, there's so much potential here, right? And the fact that it's, like, using, like, static terrain of a way to, like, get out of trouble. I, for example, maybe even could have gotten out of there. I mean, all of the movement uh, abilities that you get and all of the talents that you can pick, and, for example, the amp it up ability, all that additional shenanigans, um, all stacks together. So you can get, like, you can become, like, the fastest moving object in the entire game, which is awesome. So maybe, for example, right up here, when Valera was chasing me, I should have walked up to the wall and tried to amp it up and, 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 you know, get on out of there. I think that probably would have made a lot more sense. And one of the things I noticed as well, like, look at the damage output. My hero damage output right here is higher than Azebos and Murkies. Now, actually, in all of the games that I've played so far, Murky has actually been the ones with the highest damage output. I'm not entirely sure how that works either, don't ask me, but apparently our Murky so far in this one is, is not doing particularly well. Uh, but regardless, like... Lucio is a super high damage output, like, healer. Because look at my healing, right? My healing has been substantial, but then my damage output is very much so the same. And while I obviously have got a lot of... <laughs> my Merc How many times has Murky gone down so far this game? It's actually not that many times. Oh, never mind. Anyway, the sound just happens very often, I guess, on Murky, right? When you hear someone die. But anyways, like, nevertheless, um, it's, it's a cool concept. And, like... It makes it, it makes it very similar to Brightwing, the same way how you don't have like a, you don't have like a, uh, you know, a healing very easily and you don't have, uh, or yeah, I've got a lot of healing but not a lot of movement speed and like the same way you can do a lot of additional helping. I'm gonna pick up the back in a mix here, which gives myself uh, a bunch of additional healing, which is very good. But we really do want to make sure that we walk together, I think. Move us five, can we please move us five? I think that probably is what we want to do. There we go. Hey, what happened to your killing streak? All right, it's over. <laughs> what happened to your killing streak? All right, it's over. It's so good. It's so fun. I love the way they're introducing this though, because like the copy or like the the abilities almost directly copy over uh, from uh, from Overwatch, right? And right now I'm actually war running way better. Like maybe on the other maps that I played, it just seemed a little bit more buggy, because right now it's doing a lot. All right, all right. There's Falera. There's Falera. I see her. All right. Trying to give everyone some additional shielding there, which is exactly what Break It Down does. What my ulti is doing here. Oh man, the March of the Murlocs. Apparently, that is a thing people use. Okay, try and nuke down their healer. Got him. Got him. Very good. Still trying to keep everyone here alive as well. Very good. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh god. Got her. Very good. That was very nice. I actually did do a bit of a risky move there, because you could see me pushing away Valera, right? Which does deal damage as well. But more importantly, it did end up picking up the kill, but it was a risky move, all things considered. That was really good. Okay. I'm trying to make sure that we stay as five. I'm trying to like type it out here constantly because actually like even though we were pretty far behind her in the earlier stage of the game This is starting to become something we can actually pick up once again. It's right here You do want to switch over to the healing one of the things you can do by the way in the bottom left corner like above the health bar You can see the uh, buff that you currently got activated um, So, you know, sometimes you're like not looking at your character, right? So it may be a little tricky to decide exactly uh, what is going on, but right now you can clearly see that I've got the uh, the healing boost on, right? And right there, I probably wanted to switch over. Um, I don't know if I made it exactly clear what the wall running does, but it gives you 20% additional movement speed. Um, so that is why we're kind of trying to constantly keep that one up. It's very nice. Alright. Stay together. Stay together. Stay together, boys. I got my ulti here ready to go. Watch bit available in just a few seconds. Okay, go, go, go. Don't want to use my ulti here preemptively either. Okay, very good. Oh, I'm trying to break it down there. Didn't quite get it. 
Oh god, that was beautiful. Oh man. Oh man, what a crazy silly fight here. That fight was not quite the way we had it planned. We may be able to get the objective though. I wonder. Yeah, we got the objective. Get on out of there, my man. <laughs> the escapes. The escapes. Now, while we did end up losing a hero. Well, actually, two heroes. Um, That was all good. That was all good. Considering we got the objective. Yeah. Should we have a look? Should we have a peek? I don't know if we should have a peek. We can try and delay it. Murky could easily delay it, but... Don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh, just get out. Get on out of there, my man. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, sadly... Oh, maybe that was a silly move by us. Sadly, our uh, ETC did get wrecked there. I hope that Murky would be able to walk around, but Murky already, I think, went to the middle lane or something. I think with the three of them, we should be in a much better spot. Oh god, no! Oh, that was a little silly there. Oh no, we're losing focus, boys. We're losing focus, which is not what we like. Now, as far as information goes, I guess, one of the things I have realized is that you actually have quite a lot of sustain. And, like, on top of that, you don't seem to run out of mana really quickly unless you're, like, spamming your amp it up uh, ability. Which, you know, doesn't really happen all too often either. Oh god, really? Oh my god! The damage I put right there was pretty insane, but all things considered, you've got quite a lot of uh, maneuverability, I suppose. So you can see, right, healing-wise, we've done a ton, and like, damage-wise, though, look at the damage, right? We've got some dedicated damage dealers in this game, and somehow, my damage is nearly the same as Nazebo here, right? Greyman is only just now overtaking it, and it's very, very, very similar. Now, of course, you know, this is just a good old quick match, so it's not like I'm grouping up with the best of the best in the world, but you can really see, like, there's a ton of potential here. Because since you're constantly auto-attacking, and it seems like, I don't know if this is true, but it seems to like prioritize uh, heroic targets as well. There's a lot of additional damage output that can come out of that way. What is, um, what is Murky? Like, Murky is just running around like a headless chicken so far, it seems like. A little worried about that. Ugh, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Whew, watch out. Valera is scary. Valera is a scary hero, boys. Oh, man. But since, like, I love playing Brightwing, right? It gives me a bit of a similar kind of vibe. Break it down once again. Give everyone a ton of additional shooting. Do we have a... Oh, man. I'm gonna try and chase him down, I guess. No? Oh, we're just chasing down one hero? Alright, well, he's gonna die at least. So that's good. He almost managed to jump out, though. Oh, God. Okay. Actually, no, no, no. Go bolt. Alright, I'm trying to get over there, my man. I'm not that fast. I'm still a little slower than the rest of you. Once again, though, sort of similar, I guess, to a dead Brightwing. If you're dead, you're not healing at all. So I am playing maybe a little bit too defensively, where I'm sitting back for just a little while too long, which may very well be the case. And, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit worried here about the fact that, well, I mean, they've once again are gonna be able to get a curse here, which is not exactly what we had in mind. Apparently, they are backdooring, though. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no way, no way, oh no way, <laughs> that is real unfortunate, but anyways, at the very least, I hope this briefly introduced to you what Lucio is all about, because he's most definitely a really very fun hero to play. So even though we ended up losing that match just now, I am most definitely going to be playing Lucio a whole lot more in the future, in particular once it gets released uh, to the live version of the game. I think um, they may have to like, maybe it's just mostly a store though, like I was trying out the wall running, right, and in the store there was 
like a couple of buggy areas where the war run doesn't seem to make a full circle. Uh, but obviously, it's not a competitive map either. Maybe they already, well, I'm sure they did check it on pretty much all of the, you know, ladder maps, I suppose. Uh, I was a little bit worried for that when I initially noticed that he was indeed running into those issues. But all things considered, this man right here, while he is a, a Brazilian dancer who would divide the government with skating, um, <laughs> all things considered, he's a lot of fun to play. And uh, yeah, I don't really have any complaints about him. I mean, I'm going to play him more. Definitely one of those heroes that I enjoy playing. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. And while you're at it, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links are in the description. I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, all right? And I will see you in the next one.